In our world, around 1 billion people don't have access to electricity. Electricity is important for education, health, security. Basically, it's a must for our society to develop. This past decade, India has made a lot of improvement to connect every household to the grid. And this is great. But a lot of the people living in these rural areas are farmers. And while they connected all the household to the grid, small businesses were not part of the plan. There is a real lack for reliable access to electricity for agricultural use. As farmers are not connected to the grid, they rely on diesel pumps to irrig irrigate their fields. There is one actually just right here. This method is really bad for the environment, bad for health, and most of all, really expensive. So the government and NGOs are starting to provide solar pumps to farmers that are much more sustainable and cheaper in the long term. But these solar pumps are still too expensive for small and medium farmers. <laughs> So what happens is that 86% of the farms in India are small and marginal. So first they cannot afford a solar pump and they don't really need it for themselves. So I went to visit the NGO Orja in Barash to have a look at their project. Uh, Urja has developed a pay-as-you-go uh, community solar irrigation service called Unnati, which means progress in Hindi. Here we have just installed a community solar pump. In this, a group of 15 to 30 marginal and small farmers who have small land holdings can access the solar pump uh, using a pay-per-use service. So this means that the farmers do not have to pay any upfront cost and only pay for the per litre of water consumed from the, uh, from the solar pumps. This ensures not just sustainable water usage, but allows, uh, provides farmers with affordable and reliable source of electricity and reliable source of, of irrigation water. So they had a great idea. Instead of selling one solar panel to every farmer, they use an on-demand service for the whole community. So a group of 30 to 40 farmers share a solar power plant that they can use on-demand and only pay for what they use. Which really makes sense because the size of their land is not so big, usually one to two acres. Whenever the farmer asks uh, the operator to irrigate his field, the operator usually come over here and uh, switch on this machine and it, it will just start the, the water. Yeah, the submersible pump. The operator comes over here and check the rating of the flow meter and the farmer just put his the rolling pipe over here, the delivery pipe and used to irrigate his field and after the irrigation is over he just come to the operator and the machine is just off by the operator and again the final reading is just noted by the operator on his register and he pay uh, and regarding he pay regarding the meter so that's what the pump is really used for <laughs> So this is really helping the farmers as they don't have to invest in technology themselves. And as they can now regulate the irrigation of their fields, they can cultivate multiple times a year and increase their income subsequently. By replacing um, uh, inefficient, polluting uh, and expensive diesel pumps with solar alternatives, uh, farmers can increase their crop yields, diversify to grow high value crops and increase their incomes by over 50% by growing for an extra season as well. The farmers I met are convinced that as long as they have solar power, they will not use diesel pumps again. Along with these benefits, Urja also creates employment generation, especially among women and youth, as field technicians, uh, sales agents and uh, pump operators. And this leads to further community development and further job creation as well. In addition to this, Orja is starting to use the same system for households. They provide a few houses with a solar power plant and form a microgrid that allow people to have a reliable and affordable source of energy. Over here, there are three hubs which are interconnected to each other. And each of the hub have this type of solar panels 
this whole grid is designed for 100 households and uh, right now we are uh, giving power to 45 households. They use it to charge a phone or use light at night, which is really important for a kids' education, for example, as they can study at night. And also for small shops, as they can sell more during the day and during the night. Urja plans to deploy over 100 mini grids as well as 500 solar pumps over the next five years. Uh, these will lead to impacting the lives of over 150,000 people and help us save about 50,000 tons of carbon emissions over the next five years. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I think I dripped like one liter of sweat during this part of shooting where I'm talking. It's really, really hot in here. If you want more information about Orja, you can visit their website. It's really interesting. Their project got a few awards, so you should check it out. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it as much as you can. And I think that's it, I'll see you next week. Bye.